Council Order, Madam Clerk, roll call. Councilwoman Perkins, Dusty. Here. Councilman Cluster. Here. Councilman Jackis. Councilman Roper. Here. Councilman Keenan. Here. Councilman Sierra. Here. Councilman Ball. Here. Councilman Manza. Here. President Gonzalez. Here. Please stand for the prayer and pledge of allegiance led by Councilman Keenan. Almighty God, as you let us take our opinion, may strong sense of justice and fairness be perfect in all we do. Above all, may we seek God's holy will. Give us the strength to follow it, regardless of all we need consideration. Thank you, Lord. This is a regular meeting of the City Council as incorporated in the annual meetings notice of 2012, which was filed in the City Clerk's Office and posted on the bulletin board on December 27, 2011, and sent to the Star Ledger and Home Rules Tribune in compliance with the provisions of the Open Public Meetings Law of New Jersey. Before opening the public speaking session, I would just like to congratulate once again Councilman Cuesta, Councilman Rogo, Councilman Perkins and Dusty, as well as the mayor, in what turned out to be a resounding victory in last Tuesday's primary election. Uh, voters weighed what the various candidates offered, and their decision was loud and clear with respect to whom they want, representing them, and leading the city. With a three to one margin of victory, Elizabeth voters, also said we are satisfied with the direction of the city council and administration is taking this city and want to see that continue. I will now open the public speaking portion of the meeting. If there anyone wishes to address city council, you may do so at this time. Please state your name and address the word. Yeah, Maria Pyrus, 212 Engine Place. I'm here because of the incident that happened on May 23rd on uh, this child, Teray Gallagher, where Mr. Mangoya, a principal at school six, uh, turned around and assaulted this child. And we came to find out that there was no reports of vandalism, reports made to the school. And, you know, Mr. Mangoya, this is his second incident that he has done. Back in 2009, he had also uh, assaulted another child in the Jefferson School. Now we're talking about a 15-year-old child that he literally choked. And, you know, she, she resulted some uh, incidents, you know, injuries to it and was taken to the hospital. Now, Mr. Mangoya, when we went to the Board of Education, the board members acted like that they were surprised, but Mr. Dunn and also uh, Mr. Kakas knew the incident what had happened, but they acted like that they didn't know nothing, and you know, everybody went there talking about this man's character. My thing was, is that Mr. Mangoya has said that he felt threatened by a 15-year-old child. He said that he was trying to get this child out of the school, but he had he never called the, the child's parents out to come and pick up a, a child from school. He never turned around and asked the security guard, help from the security guard, as he said that this child was uncontrollable, in which that was a lie. And he did not even take an effort upon the Elizabeth Police Department when the child refused to leave the school. But he turned around and he managed to throw a child out of the school and lock him out and have the school locked down. Now I'm asking, right now he's on administrative leave, but I'm asking for, for the council to help get justice for this child, Ray Gallagher, that has suffered an actual resignation of this principal before he hurts another child. Thank you. Any other taxpayer resident that wishes to address city council may do so at this time. Good evening, Evan Gomez, to the South City. Great. I want to congratulate the council and the council for this past election. Um, I'm here to support the July 22nd is an amendment for the Columbia Festival on uh, Cocoa Productions. The reason being is uh, when we filled the application, uh, the letter that was given to the city, 
there was a street that was uh, missed, and, uh, and that's what there's an amendment to that letter uh, for the previous festival that was approved by the, by the board. Um, but it's just, it's still going to be the same streets that has always taken place in the past, uh, which is from Sage Street all the way to where the was Jewish place. But that's why we have some clarification of the amendment that is found in front of you. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Uh, any other taxpayer resident wishing to address City Council at this time? Thank you, Council President. Uh, my name is Isaac Rivera. I live in 816 Bayway Avenue. I first want to congratulate the council members at large that were elected in this past election. Also, I am here joined with Troop 665. Sponsored by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints on 40 Cherry Street. And we are here working on their communications merit badge as well as their citizenship in the community merit badge. Uh, so one of the requirements is to attend a town hall meeting or city council meeting. So that's why they're here taking copious notes. Uh, I wish that at the end of the meeting we could shake their hands and their hands to, to know more about uh, the city of Elizabeth. Once again, thank you for all your hard work and for keeping Elizabeth strong. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Rivera. We certainly uh, appreciate you bringing the troop here. And we look forward to uh, meeting them and possibly chatting after the meeting. Any other taxpayer resident wishes to address city council? You may do so at this time. Good evening. James Carey, the chairman of Elizabeth Branch of the People's Organization of Progress. I just want to piggyback on what my previous colleague, Maria Kavosky, uh, uh, indicated in regards to the situation that uh, occurred on May 23rd at the Lafayette School District. Uh, Lafayette School, in regards to the principal, uh, uh, Christopher Vingola. And it's of all of that, we attended the Elizabeth School Board meeting last week. And neither one of the commissioners had compassion or wherewithal by this mother's opinion. Come up and say, at least tell them that they were, uh, that this thing was being investigated and you, you have our sympathy for what happened. They just looked at the mother and the father like they had a body play, okay? And the sad part about it is that um, during the news, when the news was uh, uh, from Channel 11, the uh, news reporter, Diaz, interviewed from Calvis, he indicated that the district had no knowledge of the incident. However, the lawyer had a scratch. Response, lack of great deal of validity. Because simple fact, I contacted the drone gun on 524 and brought this incident to his attention. Then I did a follow-up call on 525. And as a matter of fact, I even told the mother to go to the Imperial building to visit this and let him know what happened. And doing another visit, he indicated that this person had no right to put his hands on her daughter. And there was no incident for me. Now, it gets interesting now because he filed a police report. I guess this is done to him that this is serious. So he filed a police report on 525, okay, 2012. He puts right here in the report where the, 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 the day in question was 524. Now, had he filled out a bond for the report, which is required by every school district in the group of future, when it, whatever there's an incident, you can immediately file an incident report. Even the teachers who had called us saying they were to remain anonymous. 
Now, in the letters report, like I said, he, put, he said she was saying, oh, I know this is indicated that this girl can do anything. As a matter of fact, he, he, put, he has two different explanations. Right here in the police report, he says, in the auditorium, it was listed in the auditorium. Well, the eyewitnesses, they assert that there was no incident in the auditorium of a verbal swallow. Okay? That's when he said he had a strange array in the auditorium.
Yeah, please, you should address the chair. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Any other taxpayer resident wishing to address city council, you may do so at this time. Once again, any other taxpayer resident wishing to address city council, you may do so at this time. But all I have to say with respect to this incident that you're discussing with regard to uh, the principal, uh, you know, I agree that, if that the allegations that are being made are true, that is behavior that is unacceptable for any professional, nevertheless, a teacher. Uh, however, I think it is this council, this body's responsibility to do its due diligence and gather as much information as it can before it puts forth a resolution. You know, requesting for anyone's record uh, resignation. Uh, I would ask that you know, between the city clerk and the law department and gather some more information and uh, so this way we can come to some conclusion as to whether or not that would be appropriate at this time because I do understand also at this time that that particular principal is an administrative leave, is no longer at the school and it's also the state child protection agency is looking into the matter. So maybe we may want to wait until that has been resolved before we do anything. So and that's all I have to say with respect to that matter at this time. Thank you. I'm sorry, the gentleman would like to say something? Come right ahead, sir. Hey, good evening, everyone. But, um, okay, I'll try to speak if you can see it. You can very well. My best. Okay, uh, my name is uh, Jorge Befar. Okay, I live here in Elizabeth, uh, the director of Team Arizona. Uh, I'm resident in Elizabeth for like 10, 15 years here ago. Uh, and I just come here for support of the Boy Scout. Um, I'm a leader chief for uh, the church, and I'm in the church. The church is just crazy for other things. Um, um, I come here for, for support, but I have some, something in my mind, and something that they complain about that, what I did on the street. Uh, like a three months ago, I called them to to City Hall for well, the street. Um, I lived in the street a few years ago. Uh, before a few years ago, the parking, the parking spaces is empty. Empty. But well, now, right now, I have um, too many cars on the street. Why? Uh, because people... Uh, so you're talking about children the street? Right, children. Yes. Um, the people can for, for for airports, go to airports, the part of my street, uh, on Black 811. Right? So that when you come to work by Black 518, or the street is full. So I uh, need space for, from my house, you know. So sometimes I go back around the corner. Uh, I check it out. Um, I called before, say that three months ago. So I say, say okay, okay. Um, Police department, visitors, they can okay, check it out. And then, okay, you know, we here for like two hours, three hours, okay, that's fine. Okay? So, the people obey that. And again, in empty spaces. So, for wrestling, people come, but not problem. And then, after one week, two weeks, two weeks uh, later, happy again. So, people come back, but the spaces for airport and full again, the happy game. So my idea is somebody wanna come from the street, so that's fine for part of one day because the, the, the people spark all day eight hours, ten hours, twelve hours, that's you know, so it is very important and that's it. Hey sir, maybe, maybe I'm not sure who the council is in the area, maybe afterwards we can meet who covers that. He said children. Children. That's your problem. <laughs> You can speak with Councilman Keenan afterwards to get more details on that so he can see so if he can help you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Any other taxpayer resident wishes to address City Council at this time? Seeing none, I close the public speaking portion of the meeting. We will now move on to the public hearings. Ordinance number 4310. Adopt the redevelopment plan as recommended by the planning board relating to the North Avenue redevelopment area at 668770 North Avenue as defined under the local redevelopment and housing law. 
You've heard the reading of ordinance number 4310. Is there anyone present wishing to address or speak on ordinance number 4310? Once again, you've heard the reading of ordinance number 4310. Is there anyone present wishing to speak on ordinance number 4310? Seeing none, I close the public hearing on ordinance number 4310. Ordinance number 4311, granting encroachment permit to PT Consultants, Inc. Belmont, New Jersey, to perform environmental work within the public right of way of Spofford Avenue, consisting of two temporary soil warrants. You've heard the reading of ordinance number 4311. Is there anyone present who would like to speak on ordinance number 4311? Once again, you've heard the reading of ordinance number 4311. Is there anyone present who would like to speak on ordinance number 4311? Seeing none, I close the public hearing on ordinance number 4311. Ordinance number 4312, granting encroachment permit to Sovereign Consulting Inc. for Sydney, New Jersey to perform environmental work within the public right-of-way at First Avenue, consisting of two monitoring wells. You've heard the reading of ordinance number 4312. Is there anyone present who would like to speak on ordinance number 4312? Once again, you've heard the reading of ordinance number 4312. Is there anyone present who would like to speak on ordinance number 4312? Seeing none, I close the public hearing on ordinance number 4312. With the consent of my colleagues, I will dispense with the reading of the petitions and communications and reports of city officers and move on to ordinances on first reading. Ordinance number 4313, authorized the establishment of a personal housing camp on the space for Octavio Alameda, 843 Garden Street. You've heard the reading of ordinance number 4313. What is your pleasure? Move the second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, move hold. Councilwoman Perkins Augusti. Aye. Councilman Roper. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Goldman. Aye. Councilman Madison. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. The ordinance of access on first reading. Ordinance number 4314. Rescind ordinance number 4216, adopted May 10, 2011, which authorizes establishment of a personalized handicap parking space for Carmen Sedeno, 918 Roosevelt Street. You've heard the reading of ordinance 4314. What is your pleasure? The order is for Move the second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, roll we'll call. Councilwoman Perkins Augusti. Aye. Councilman Grover. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Goldman. Aye. Councilman Manza. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. Ordinance passes on first reading. Ordinance number 4315 authorizes the establishment of a personalized handicap parking space for John A. Padilla, 533 Garden Street. We heard the reading of ordinance number 4315. What is your pleasure? It should be Green Street. Green Street? That is Green Street. That's correct. I move the order for Move the second. And what is the plan? Move the order for Move the order for Roll. Councilwoman Perkins Gusty. Aye. Councilman Grover. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Gordon. Aye. Councilman Nanza. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. Public hearing and further consideration of the foregoing ordinances shall take place. To be held Tuesday, June the 26, 2012, at 7:30 p.m. We will now move on to ordinances on final passage. Ordinance number 4310, adopt the redevelopment plan as recommended by the planning board relating to the North Avenue redevelopment area at 668-770 North Avenue, as defined under the local redevelopment and housing law. You've heard the reading of ordinance number 4310. What is your pleasure? The ordinance is Move this second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, no call. Councilwoman Perkins Augusti. Aye. Councilman Grover. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Gold. Aye. Councilman Nazar. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. Ordinance passes on final reading. Ordinance number 4311, granting encroachment permit to PT Consultants, St. Belmar, New Jersey, to perform environmental work within the public right of way of Spofford Avenue, consisting of 
consisting of two temporary soil worms. We've heard the reading of ordinance number 4811, which is the weather. Move and second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, roll call. Councilwoman Perkins Dusty. Aye. Councilman Groban. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Bowman. Aye. Councilman Madison. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. Orders passed by final reading. Ordinance number 4312, granting encroachment permit to Sovereign Consulting E. Parsippany, New Jersey, to perform environmental work within the public right of way of First Avenue, consisting of two monitoring wells. You've heard the reading of ordinance number 4312. What is the question? The order is for vote, sir. Move and second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, roll call. Councilwoman Perkins Augusti. Aye. Councilman Groba. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Bowman. Aye. Councilman Madison. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. The order passed on final reading. We will now move on to new business. Introduce and approve the Elizabeth Avenue Special Improvement District Fiscal Year 2013 budget in the amount of $360,282. You heard the reading of the resolution. What is the pleasure? Move the resolution for a vote. Move the second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, we'll call. Councilwoman Perkins Dusty. Aye. Councilman Groban. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Bowman. Aye. Councilman Madison. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. The resolution passes. Public hearing for further consideration to be held Tuesday evening, July 24th, 2012. Certify the preliminary 2013 state fiscal year tax levy for the second half of calendar year 2012 in the amount of $122,579,514.39. Authorize the cancellation of $1 million in the suit utility operating fund and unexpected. Spend it balance of capital outlay appropriation and credit to sewer utility surplus. Authorize the renewal of a contract with Western World Insurance Company, Ramsey, New Jersey, with the age of the record, who's Plumber and Associates, Somerville, New Jersey, covering accident insurance for ambulance drivers and attendants for the period June 15, 2012 to June 15, 2013, at an annual premium of $7,850. Authorize the proper city officials to apply and accept the New Jersey Division of Highway Traffic Safety Project Grant for applicable ticket 2012 mobilization in the amount of four thousand dollars the period may 21st 2012 to june 3rd 2012 and support said safety project both locally and nationally you heard the reading of the resolution what is your pleasure move the second are there any comments seeing none vote call councilwoman perkins dusty aye councilman brother aye councilman keenan aye councilman Baldwin. aye Through the Union County Co-op for the 
You heard the reading of the resolution. What is your pleasure? The resolution for vote. Move and second. Are there any comments? I miss yes. Yes. Councilman Moore. Yes, Mr. President. Mr. President, I am full support of the two new street sweeper that we purchased from uh, Public Works. Uh, we certainly need them in, in our city to get people out of the street uh, clean because you know the old ones are uh, old and dilapidated and they believe we wouldn't bring any of to pick it up. So we're happy to see that they're putting for two new ones. Also, it will be a new dump trucks and snow plow uh, that they are obtaining for the uh, coming winter. Uh, and also have to see, Mr. President, I was concerned about when I got the paperwork, uh, whether it was going to be with the sixth new addition or were there going to be some trade in or replacement. And I'm happy to see that four trucks are going to be replaced and they're going to get two additions. So I'm very pleased with that. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure this will be a big improvement to help remove snow and ice this winter once we get it closer. We got a little break nice here. But I don't think we're going to get a uh, break this time. So thank you, Mr. President. I, I want to come back and just congratulate the public work director for doing such a fine job. Thank you, Mr. President. Are there any other comments? Councilman? Oh, so <laughs> Seeing none, roll call. Councilwoman Perkins Vesti. Aye. Councilman Grover. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Gold. Aye. Councilman Madison. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. All resolutions passed. Authorized the board of contract to Battleware Technology, Ashland, Virginia, for the purchase of tactical body armor for the emergency service unit of the police department at a cost of $85,890. Authorized the board of contract to Independence Constructors, Bridgewater, New Jersey, for cleaning inspections, monitoring of oil water separators and above and underground tanks at various locations, and Department of Environmental Protection Compliance for the period June 1. 2012 through July 31st, 2012, the cost not to exceed $50,000. Authorizing the order of contract to Land and Associates in Tinton Falls, New Jersey, for the purchase of cleaning items, vest carriers, and other items for the police department for the period May 1st, 2012 through April 30, 2014, at a cost not to exceed $100,000. Authorizing the contract to Long and Supply Company, New Jersey, Inc., A. Harbor City, New Jersey, for the purchase of equipment for the police department for the period May 1st, 2012 through April 30, 2014, at a cost not to exceed $300,000. Authorized for the contract to General Sales Administration, trading as major police supply in Kendall, New Jersey, for the purchase of emergency lighting equipment for the Departments of Police, Fire, and Ambulance Service Bureau for the period May 29, 2012 through May 29, 2014, at a cost not to exceed $500,000. Authorized the order of contract to Highway Service Corporation Elizabeth for the furnishing of police authorized towing and road services for the police department for the period of one year with an option to renew for two or three years at the prices quoted. You've heard the reading of the resolution. What is your pleasure? Move the resolution for vote. Move and second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, the roll call. Councilwoman Perkins is asked to. Aye. Councilman Grover. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Baldwin. Aye. Councilman Massa. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. All resolutions passed. Authorizing the adoption of a resolution that would pre qualify Tyler Fitzpatrick and Cole LLP. TNET New Jersey was submitted a request for qualifications as prospective bond attorneys to serve the city during the 2013 state fiscal year. Authorizing the announcement of a resolution that would pre qualify Stack Cooling and Stack LLC, Hoboken, New Jersey, Stanley J. Real Estate Appraisal Associates, Colonia, New Jersey, and New Jersey Real Estate Advisory Group, LLC, Perth, Amboy, New Jersey, who submitted a request for qualifications as prospective to serve the city during the 2013 state fiscal year, authorizing the adoption of a resolution that would pre-qualify Powell Capital Markets, Inc., Roseland, New Jersey, a KC of Financial Group, Inc., Marlton, New Jersey, and Northwest Financial Group, LLC, Jersey City, who submitted a request for qualifications as prospective financial advisors to serve the city during the 2013 state fiscal year. Authorizing the adoption of a resolution that would pre-qualify Lewis 
Lucy Mason, PA, and Associates in Along, New Jersey, and McEnery, Brady and Company, Livingston, New Jersey, who submitted a request for qualifications as prospective auditors to serve the city during the 2013 state fiscal year. Authorizing adoption of a resolution that will pre-qualify to allow, allow attorneys at law Springfield, New Jersey, and Palumbo and Renault attorneys at law Cranford, New Jersey, who submitted a request for qualifications as prospective property tax attorneys to serve the city during the 2013 state fiscal year. You heard the reading of the resolution. What is your pleasure? Move the resolution for a vote. Move the second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, roll we'll call. Councilwoman Perkins of SD? Aye. Councilman Grover? Aye. Councilman Keenan? Aye. Councilman Baldwin? Aye. Councilman Mazza? Aye. President Gonzalez? Aye. All resolutions passed. Authorized City Council to approve all payments related to accumulated uncompensated absence benefits in compliance with the State Fiscal Year 2012 Appropriations Act. Authorized City Council to review the city's quarterly 2012 State Fiscal Year budget revenues and appropriations for the fiscal year third quarter and March 31st, 2012 in compliance with the State Fiscal Year 2012 Appropriations Act. Authorize the award of a contract to CME Associates, Parliament, New Jersey, to provide professional engineering services in connection with the design and construction and administration of the 2012 Road Resurfacing Program Phase 2 of the course not to exceed $99,398. Authorize an amendment to a resolution adopted August 23, 2011. Authorize the deferred payment repayable loan to the Oaks at Westminster Urban Renewal LLC in the amount of $1,421,674, specifically to comply with handicap accessibility requirements, increasing the amount by $200,000, raising the loan to $1,621,674. Authorize the tax collector to cancel disallowed senior citizen deductions for tax year 2011 pursuant to a delineated list submitted May 21, 2012 in a total amount of $12,250. Establish handicap parking spaces in front of the premises located at 504 4th Avenue and 215 Pine Street. This is the reading of the resolution. What is your budget? It's your resolution for vote. Move and second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, we'll vote. Councilwoman Perkins of SD? Aye. Councilman Grover? Aye. Councilman Keenan? Aye. Councilman Baldwin? Aye. Councilman Mazza? Aye. President Gonzalez? Aye. All resolutions passed. Delete the following handicap parking spaces from in front of the premises located at 117 Race Street and 504 First Avenue. Establish the means for the boarding of properties listed on Schedule A on file in the City Clerk's Office in the amount of $4,103.48 and $1,412.87. Establish needs for the removal and disposal of debris on properties listed on Schedule A on file in the City Clerk's Office in the total amount of $5,046.02 and $9,260.22. Amended resolution adopted May 8, 2012, permitting Coco Bongo Productions to conduct their ninth annual Colombian Independence Day Festival on Sunday, July 22, 2012. Specifically to include Mars Avenue from Sayre Street to Westfield Avenue. The next item has um, been removed from tonight's agenda. Adopt a resolution demanding the immediate, immediate resignation of Ms. Marie Munn, President of the Elizabeth Board of Education, in view of the recent indictment proceedings against Ms. Munn. The next item has also been removed from tonight's agenda. Pay utility bills. You heard the reading of the resolution. What is your pleasure? The resolution for approval. Moved and seconded. Are there any comments? I can't just start to say that. I'm sorry. Can I go first? Thank you. Mr. President, I believe that Ms. Martin has resigned as president, but is she still on the board? So can we uh, have a bizarre understanding that she continues to be a board member and is no longer president? That's correct. Can I, can I ask if somebody will second? Amendment to this resolution. Ask for immediate 
designation of her as a member of the Board of Education as opposed to the President of the Board of Education? Second. Okay, that is seconded by Councilman King. I would be the judge and I have all the records, then I would vote. But I'd be surprised 
we actually we have on the city council three attorneys at one time, uh, tonight there's only two present. How can we really make a decision uh, such that we find somebody guilty, step down because there might be hearsay or there might be a regulatory document that will probably condemn some person? But we're not that kind of a branch to say to another agency that has been elected by the people to step down. She knows whether she's wrong, if she knows whether she's right, let the judicial system make that conclusion. And I cannot support this resolution. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President. Are there any other comments? Mr. President. Uh, Councilman Grove. I, I, I agree that we are the country, best country in the world. And our constitution states that you are innocent to prove it. I, I agree with that 100%. That's what I swore to do as an attorney when I got sworn in the bar of the state of Jersey. However, we're not judging our guilty. We are a representative of the residents of the city of Elizabeth. We get elected to do so, and we swear an oath to represent the citizens that we were elected. And I believe that our resolution requesting that she resign is a valid one. Um, once she got elected, she too took an oath of office. And once you become an elected member, whether it's a city council, the mayor, the president, the commissioner, or the, I think that the public looks to you as a representative, someone that they elected to, to office. Um, and if you are being charged, and it's beyond just being charged in this case, it seems that the facts that are being put out, um, Star Ledger, the indictment that came down from the New County court system, Union County Grand Jury, pretty clear that she's done something wrong. Um, and so our, our request that she resigns, we're not finding her guilty. We're simply stating that as an elected official, you're held to a higher standard, and any appearance of impropriety is not a good example to this, especially to the residents, and especially not to the students that you are the head of that. So, I have to support the resolution. I supported the first one. I believe that now that the grand jury has had an opportunity to review the facts and felt that in fact it warranted an indictment, um, I think it's leaning pretty bad in our favor against it. And, and I think that um, it's our duty as representatives of the residents of the city uh, to make a request of a person to resign if we feel that the uh, appearance of impropriety is to the extent that it is uh, hampering her ability to rule in her position. Okay. Are there any other comments? Yes, Mr. President. Absolutely. Mr. President, I will not be voting for the um, amendment to the resolution for Copacabana to extend um, the areas for their festival. Um, which, which will include Morris Avenue, Sayre Street, and West Hill Avenue. As I stated at the conference, I think this is going to be a great encumbrance upon the neighborhood um, where these two festivals are going to take place from back to back. And I think we're asking a lot from the residents who live on Morris Avenue, Sayre Street, and West Hill Avenue corridor to sustain all of the traffic all of the people for two weekends back to back. So I will not be supporting the amendment and I will be voting to ask for Ms. Marie Munch to step down. We are not condemning her, we are not charging her guilty, but I think there's a preponderance of evidence given regarding the indictment. I think our children deserve more of the public leaders and I think we need to hold each other to a higher standard. Um, we wish her well, but we just do not wish that she needs to remain as an active member of the elected body of the Elizabeth Board of Education. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilman. Are there any other comments? I certainly uh, concur with my colleagues that will be voting uh, to support the resignation of this month from the Board of Education. For all the various reasons that you both have eloquently stated this evening, 
that we as elected officials are held to a higher standard and we should set the example for our kids, for our city, and not give the city of Elizabeth a black eye because those things, that's what they do. You know, as I go around and talk to people from other areas outside of Elizabeth, you know, what you hear is about these things that are going on in Elizabeth and uh, it does not go well for the city. So for those reasons, and again, the reasons that my colleagues have mentioned, I will be supporting that. Roll call. Councilwoman Perkins of SD. No, on the amendment, I own everything else. Councilman Brown. Aye. Councilman Dean. Aye. Councilman Brown. Aye. Councilman Madison. Yes, and everything else, but now on the resolution begins to be money. President Gonzalez. Aye. All resolutions passed. Commendations. We have the Elizabeth High School graduates enter higher education by Restore Ministries. Are there any other commendations? We move on to memorials. We have Rafael Salomon, Anna Laporta, Lani R. Sanders. Are there any other memorials? Seeing none, please stand for a moment of silence. Motion to adjourn. So, so move, meeting adjourned.